Hello everyone, this is Kitty back with another guide. So today's topic is going to be how to deal with tanky robots. And first, let's go over all the facts. Um, let's think about what makes them tanky. Well, to be able to tank, um, you really have to stand a lot of damage. So naturally, tanky robots would have high HP and some sort of defense mechanism that would actually help out. And those two mechanisms are mainly damage resistance and shields. Firstly, let's look at um, combination of high HP with uh, paired with damage resistance. So these robots are Falcon, Invader, Mender, and recently Ao Guang have joined. So these are the main tankers with that sort of a mechanism. And let's look at Mender first. Okay, so Mender, um, a lot of people just know it as support bot. Um, it does a good amount of support healing other um, teammates, but it can be super tanky because seven seconds of duration, three times healing, and that 50% damage resistance does it's, it's quite a bit to handle so dealing with menders you always want to have fully loaded ammos but even with fully loaded shotguns um, it's sometimes not enough to go through all of it, its HP and its damage resistance with the healing on top of that pay attention at its visual cues as the arm bar goes down the seven seconds damage resistance is over so I would start shooting at it then next is Falcon the Falcon when it first came out, it was really strange because it was just walking through all all the firepowers out there. Um, but it does have its weakness. It's during its skill time, Fangs out, when it's able to use three heavy weapons and um, when it's able to jump, it's actually it actually loses its damage resistance. Um, some of you already know this, but a lot of the some people actually don't know this because I have a lower league account and people just tend to waste all of their ammo while in damage resistance so if you watch this clip it's in damage resistance mode already so it looks like three lockdown shotguns doesn't do anything but as it switches out three heavy weapons with the broken shield on top I'm able to deal a lot of damage so next up is Ao Guing so this robot uh, defense mechanism activates while it's in the air so but if it's maxed out um, don't bother shooting it <laughs> uh, don't bother wasting any ammo on it because uh, it just doesn't seem to do anything to it it just has so much tankiness in there um, you can lock it down but um, it just doesn't do much unless you're trying to lock it down I would actually try to find another robot to shoot at or if this robot is targeting you I would actually try to find the cover because it's built in um, homing missile it does quite a bit of damage so lastly can you guys guess what it is it's the crawling spider so it is it, it's the invader um, so with the recent buff it's got the damage resistance in the air and as it lands for five seconds so um, it only has two lights and one medium weapon slot. However, um, it, it has the most HP in the game. And it's if you guys played Mario, this is pretty much the boss spider, Bowser. Anyways, it does have its weakness, its mobility, having lockdown weapon presence around. It just becomes, it sometimes just becomes a silver bag. Um, they lock you down. Um, the lockdown fam is just having so much advantage over this spot it locks it down and it becomes everyone else's target so once it's locked down at awkward position uh, weapons that have a lot of ammo such as Avenger or Viper will pretty much shred it apart and it is important for you to know that almost every single um, invader out there will be paired up with repair unit as an active module so um, stealth bots uh, such as Ao Jun with a high firepower would be able to counter it extremely well. So tanky robots with high HP with shields aren't necessarily that difficult to counter. But some of you might not know, so let's name them first. Bulwark, Raijin, Lancelot, and Bulgasari. These are the major ones out there and um, 
they are very weak against explosive so I'm talking about rockets that have splash damage so if you look at these three robots first Lancelot and Raijin having heavy slots obviously they'll have ansels on them but even with the ansels um, these weapons do a pretty good job of damaging them maybe not so much Norikim and Zenus because there's only 10 minutes to kill enemies and capture beacons but uh, it might take 20 minutes so this spot can feel like you're fighting against a brick wall but i still think it, it's on the easier side to deal with than damage resistance robots uh, this spot can pretty much charge up its aegis shield while it's activating physical shield but the constant pressure of splash damage mid-range weapons will damage the bot and not allowing this bot to charge up its aegis shield itself is doing a pretty good job of dealing with this bot so if you have trouble dealing with bulwarks make sure you have splash damage weapons in your hangar mid-range these uh, weapons will do and if it gets close, these weapons will definitely be able to knock out the bulwark. So um, thank you guys for watching and I hope I helped. And what are some of your tips against tanky bots? Leave them down in the comments below.